Hello then. In terms of the weather, there is a definite west-east divide in Europe at the moment. Stormy weather conditions continue to bombard uh, parts of Iberia. Here's one system waiting in the wings, another one clears through, and it takes some heavy rain during the course of the day today across the French Riviera. We could see a metre of snow through the Pyrenees, torrential downpours, localised flooding not out of the question, and more snow across the western half of the Alps as well. By contrast, eastern Europe is settled. It's sunny and with a southerly breeze temperatures are starting to climb 23 degrees in Athens by Wednesday afternoon peaking a little higher than that into the weekend brief lull in proceedings through central and southern Spain and also Portugal but make the most of it things are set to change yet again it's cool and breezy across the UK a little bit quieter with some sunshine into Scandinavia and the low countries and Germany now as we move into Thursday yet yeah, there's yet more rain pushing into Portugal eventually into Spain and settled through France but further east we're seeing lots of dry sunny weather 24 for Athens 22 into Warsaw it does look likely as we move to Towards the weekend that the rain should start to ease away in Spain and things quieten down but certainly the best of the sunshine remains further east. We could see 26 degrees the high into Athens for the weekend. A good deal of sunshine continues to the east. Hello there. Cold weather has still been very much a feature across the northeast of America in recent days, but things will start to change as we move through the remainder of this week. We've got a weather front that is moving through Florida as we speak. We've also got a weather front bringing some heavy rain into the west coast yet again, perhaps as far south as San Francisco. Sandwiched in between the two high pressure builds, and once we get rid of this front, uh, through Florida is going to start to introduce something just that little bit milder. So temperatures will continue to climb. Let's take a look at a little more detail what to expect then across the West Coast. We will see predominantly rain through parts of uh, Canada, through British Columbia. We'll have some snow to any elevation. We'll have rain into Oregon and, as I say, into Northern California, as far south as San Francisco, not expected to reach Los Angeles. But we will start to see that rain easing and becoming a little more showery in nature from Thursday, but temperatures a little more subdued once that front goes through. By contrast, well, just a few days ago, we had temperatures only sitting at around 40 degrees in New York. So there are signs of something a little bit milder, but it will get better still. Heavy rain moving out of the Carolinas still sitting across parts of Florida, and that'll be quite extensive. But once it clears through, temperatures will start to climb. We could see 60 degrees in New York. That's 16 Celsius as we move towards the end of the week. Hello then. Let's take a look at the weather forecast then for South America. The heaviest of the rain looks likely to be across the Amazon basin, as you can see by the uh, satellite picture picking up some pretty intense shower clouds, but also down into the southern tip of Chile. Not much change actually to the forecast over the last couple of days, but heavy rain across Venezuela, Colombia and into Ecuador. Brighter, drier through Paraguay, Uruguay and also into Argentina. Some of these showers could be quite torrential with some thunder mixed in there as well. As I say, into northern Brazil, we're seeing some heavier rain. Not too bad down to the south for Uruguay and Paraguay and certainly for Argentina, drier than it was this time last week. Now, still some heavy rain potentially across southern Chile. Obviously, with any elevation, we are still looking at snow. It's going to be quite windy with it as well, blizzard-like conditions here. Rio de Janeiro potentially seeing a few isolated showers, but not too much, but it stays pretty unsettled for Bogota in Colombia. Now, we'll also see the tail end of a weather front that's moving through Florida, which could bring some pretty heavy rainfall across Mexico, just perhaps to the north of Mexico City, but there could be some showers here as well. One or two across Costa Rica, down into Panama, a few isolated showers for the Caribbean, but it's largely fine and settled. You won't be too disappointed with this five-day outlook. Lots of sunshine in the offing. Enjoy. Hello there. A forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly and also a look at severe tropical cyclone Kenny. But let's take a look at the moment at a view from space across Asia. You can see where the afternoon shower cloud tends to sit across Malaysia and Indonesia. But further north, it's relatively quiet. There are a few sharper showers across parts of uh, central China. And once these move through, the heat that we've seen in recent days will start to ease. So moving down from the high 20s into Shanghai to the mid 20s. Some rain to clear as well through Japan. Now, Vietnam, Thailand, largely fine and quiet. Here are those showers that we saw 
on the satellite picture quite clearly through in, in Indonesia and parts of Malaysia. So the story over the next few days will bring a lowering of temperatures across Osaka with that rain as it moves through the weekend elsewhere relatively fine and quiet. Now for Australia, it looks as though it'll be a similar story. We've got some rain moving through the bite and that will eventually push towards parts of Adelaide, Melbourne and into Tasmania. It looks as though it'll be warm and humid with just a risk of an isolated chair in the evening for the Commonwealth Games. Still some stormy weather yet to clear away from the North Island of New Zealand. It's an improving picture. And here's the remnants of Kenny starting to shift away to the south and east and weaken all the time. So it looks as though the rain in Wellington will slowly ease and we'll see some sunshine through the second half of the weekend. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for South Asia. If we start off with a look at the satellite picture, you can see most of the cloud is up into the north and also some shower clouds starting to develop down to the south. Now, basically, we've got sharp showers topping and tailing South Asia, some of them quite persistent across parts of Sri Lanka and some of them heavy and thundery as well up into the far north. Here we've got weather warnings out, the potential for some localised flooding, potential for some damaging gusts of winds as well. So that's the story as we go through Wednesday. Let's take a look at it in a little more detail. The showers up into the north and west, not as extensive as they have been, particularly across parts of Afghanistan. But in Pakistan, we'll continue to see some sharp showers as well. The same too to northwest India. Now, temperatures in New Delhi into the mid 30s still, but not the extensive heat that we have seen um, in recent days. A few showers, but mostly more widespread ones down to the south, to the islands of the Maldives and also into Sri Lanka. These heavy and possibly thundery. Some into the northeastern states and across to Bangladesh, as they say, gusty winds very much a feature as well. So it looks as though it's going to stay pretty unsettled through Colombo uh, for the next five days. Elsewhere, relatively quiet at story and still those temperatures in Mumbai sitting into the mid 30s. Still the heat very much a feature across New De Delhi, back up to 37 by Monday. Hello there. A stormy spell of weather across the Mediterranean at the moment is going to produce some unsettled weather through Morocco. As you can see quite clearly on the satellite picture, there's some fairly extensive cloud and it will bring some outbreaks of sharp showery rain from time to time. So that's certainly worth bearing in mind. There's our seasonal range just drifting a little bit further south. Some rain pushing out of Johannesburg, but generally speaking, South Africa, in particular Cape Town, stays dry, settled and sunny. That's not great news for the drought that they have there at the moment. So that's the story through Wednesday. The city forecast shows that dry, sunny weather in Cape Town uh, continuing over the next few days. It does look as though to be pretty unsettled in Nairobi as well. In Casablanca sees some rain continuing as we go into the weekend. We should start to see signs of that easing off as the storms close off in the Mediterranean. Now, for the Middle East, it looks as though we'll continue to see some showers close to the Levant, also into northern Iraq. We'll see some showers, fairly isolated, but pretty intense ones across Saudi Arabia as well. Some of these heavy thundery, as much as 100 millimetres as possible over the next few days, and that could cause some issues. And during those showers, there could be some uh, strong winds, lifted dust is likely as well. So, those showers will slowly ease into the weekend, a little more sunshine, the same too for Kuwait.